Okay, this is a quick introductory video of AccuWare's label connector product for uh, QuickBooks Online Edition. Um, the basic functionality uh, with the latest revision allows you to search on an invoice number. In this case, we'll just show you how that functions. So you just put in the, in the invoice number that you want to pull data back for. Um, and then you can select any one of a number of different uh, label templates uh, that can be printed and we'll get into the label designer here in a moment and just go ahead and select that for printing let's go ahead and uh, generate that uh, and it quickly generates a PDF of that uh, label ready to go in this case it was like about a two and a half by one inch label here we pulled in as you can see on the order we pulled in the customer name uh, the description of the item, a Zebra 105 SL, uh, the invoice number, and then the sell price of that item, and the actual product or service, you know, the, basically the item ID. In this case, we put in a barcode uh, to go ahead and to show that as a barcode number. So you can generate that and print that to any label printer that you may have. Um, we do recommend label printers just in general. We can help you with those if you have any questions. Uh, so let's just quickly get into uh, what the designer looks like. Um, so basically you saw where I picked uh, the label template here out of a list. Uh, if we go to the designer, I'm not going to get into all the features of the designer because it's rather lengthy, but um, you can see here that basically we were able to configure all of these fields uh, let's just pull up an example here. Uh, let's see. Let's use the item um, barcode, and we'll edit that real quick. So if I edit that value, uh, you can see here that I made the source for the data from QuickBooks be the item name in QuickBooks, but I could have used any of these other values from QuickBooks, uh, and we're going to be expanding these uh, continuously. Uh, but here we're just using the item name as the source for the data and the field type was a barcode type field for this one so we're able to specify the position where we want that barcode uh, to reside and the, the origin position is in the lower left corner uh, so we're just you know half an inch out and a third of an inch up and we can uh, size the font that goes underneath the barcode and we can also just change the position of where that barcode uh, you know the size of that barcode on the label so um, if we want to like uh, so we can close that update if we made any changes that would update um, we'll go ahead and just uh, let's let's just show you like a non barcode field here's uh, an example of um, we put a static field on there that just says invoice number and it does not dynamically pull data from QuickBooks so it's just a, a fixed field on the label useful for things like titles that don't dynamically change with the QuickBooks data. So here we made the data source be just static in that case. Um, and again, we are able to set the position and the font size. Uh, so you can lay out uh, any dimension of label that you need in advance. You can name the template anything you'd like uh, so that these appear in your list of templates uh, for printing. So then once you've completed those changes, you can go back to pulling up any one of your invoices we can do multiple items here would show down the page and you just select the item uh, for printing in QuickBooks uh, talk, thank you very much this is uh, revision one for 2018 of label connector for QuickBooks on QuickBooks online